Welcome, fellow Synths fans. It's gonna be an interesting episode because what I've done is listen to you guys and one of the questions I always get is, couldn't you do a comparison of the hardware CS80 with a plugin? And that's what I did with the Arturia plugin that I own. Now, very importantly, my intention is not at all to sort of show off that the hardware version is so much better than the software version. Actually, on the contrary, what I did is I made recordings of the software version and the hardware version with effects and without effects. And it's up to you guys in the recordings to sort of see, is it version A or is it version B? Now version A can be the plugin or version A could be the hardware version. It's, you know, you have to find out for yourself. What you will see in the visuals is sort of the settings which are almost identical. Sometimes the hardware version reacts a little bit different than the plugin version. So what you're going to hear is five examples of hardware plate strings, for instance, software plate strings. Um, back to that, I don't want to sort of show off the, um, the importance of hardware. I think we're living in great times because when I started playing, uh, which is uh, more than 40 years ago, synthesizers were extremely expensive and hardly impossible to get by here in the Netherlands. And now you have plugins, you have all of sorts of new manufacturers coming up with great instruments at you know very reasonable prices. So um, I think you know it's great that people play, and whether they play a Volca of 100 euros or this beast uh, that now has this idiotic price, which I didn't pay for it. You know, let's get that straight. Um, my intention is to actually show that it will be quite difficult, I think, to identify the differences. Um, so let's, let's jump to version two, to example one. Uh, when I opened the Arturia and I was playing out with the presets, I came across this soft brass preset, which really sounded really nice. And you know, when I looked at it, it was a one oscillator patch, which was surprising for me, but also I learned from it because I tend to sort of play always uh, dual oscillator sounds. And the instrument can sound fantastic with just one oscillator. Well, actually the CS80 only has one oscillator. Um, so, uh, you know, I, I played that brass sound and then copied the settings to uh, to the hardware version and I recorded it and it's now up to you guys to sort of um, see whether you can identify the difference. One last thing, I've took both a version without effects and one with effects and last but not least, in the link you will find a link to, which is the whole purpose of a link, uh, you'll find a link to a Google form. And actually you can use that Google form to give your answers. So with the five examples, you have to say number A was the CS hardware version or it was the plugin version. You know, it would be great to sort of do this little test and I hope tens of people will, will sort of fill in the form um, to see very objectively whether you can hear or spot the difference between hardware and software. Without further ado, Example number one, the brass. Example number two, um, when I demonstrated 
the instrument without uh, effects, I used the first two string presets, which are really horrible. And quite a lot of people that actually, well, some people that own a CS as well said, you can get much nicer strings from a CS80. So also here, I started with the strings from the uh, Arteria plugin and then copied the settings uh, to, uh, to this instrument. And I have to say, indeed, uh, I didn't actually use it a lot for strings, uh, but I will as of now. So from this whole experiment, I'm learning a lot as well, which is, uh, which is great. One little difference, the Arturia sounded really great with, with the chorus. And the chorus on the CS80 is, well, I don't use it. I don't like it. Uh, so for a, for a, for a truthful c comparison, I took out the, uh, this, the, the chorus in the string example on the Arturia as well. And here is example number two. example. There I started myself with, uh, with a patch and what I like to do is add a little noise to, uh, to a sound because well it gives it that nice I don't know windy character for lack of a better word um, and since it has the high pass filter it's very easy to very subtle add a little bit of noise. Um, it's sort of a piano like, uh, like sound. I made it on the CS copied the settings to uh, the Arturia and here is example number three. Number four, example number four has a nice story to it because uh, when I was 15, 16, uh, one of my best friends had older brothers and they had beautiful albums. And one of them was actually live, UK Live, with the song Alaska on it. 
and it all always made an enormous impression on me but when I was 15, 16 I didn't have a clue about the instruments. It was only later actually that I started listening to Evangelis that I got in contact with the CS80 and realized that Eddie Jobson did wonderful stuff on the CS80 as well. So I thought let's use Alaska with, with that nice portamento and that big sound to compare the Arturia with the hardware CS80. <laughs> Number five is a little bit different than the other ones because what I did is I took a recording I made uh, a couple of weeks ago where I sort of played uh, the Stranger Things theme with Evangelis feel with a brass sound in it. And what I did is I did a second recording and I made an alternative to the hardware brass and played the Arteria brass sound. So in this case it's just two examples and what you're going to hear is the song, well, a short clip of the song, with the original hardware brass and with the interior brass. <laughs> 